this is one of the countries where the women are the most travel for work. Like, there's so many Filipinas that go to other countries to work. Okay, and she wasn't one of those off Ws that people say, oh, off Ws go over to Japan and make money in the bars. Hey guys, welcome back to the Black Filipino TV. On my way to Manila, over here by the islands, but we'll be in Manila soon. We'll be back living in Manila soon, so stay tuned for that. But well, before I get into this, I wanna say please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, also click the notification bell to ensure that you get to my videos as soon as I release them. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know not only is it dead, right? Even dating online is dead, you know. What happens is a lot of women, right? They have to pick the letter. Guys don't. Guys really don't. And the thing is, when you go in your inbox and you have a hundred guys waiting, you're only gonna select the top guys. And there's women that are twos <laughs> having that advantage. What happened was a guy he was, he was already dating online in the West. And also, this this would happen. So he decided, let me put the Philippines to the test, right? So he put the Philippines to the test. Also, he tested other countries. Here's the results. This is what he said. I put the Philippines to the test today, switched my app to Philippines. I immediately got a message from 14 different women. Two already FaceTimed me, and both are waiting for me to visit the Philippines. One was half Egyptian, Filipino, raised by a black father. All this happened within an hour. And that's true, it does happen like that. And a lot of people are gonna say, you know, you have women that say, oh, well, no, that's because they want money, they want the opportunity. Can I just quickly share how it pisses me off, how some people are so easy to judge that when they see a Filipina with a foreigner, they automatically think that the Filipina is after the foreigner's money. I am here to stand up for those Filipinas who are judged in this way. And the thing is, some Filipinas actually work even when they have a, you know, foreigner husband, boyfriend, or fiance. Like the imagination that you have where we're just sitting at home and living Ooh. our lives, pretending like a princess, a beautiful butterfly that we are. No. You hear it so much. That's the same thing, the same argument. But then this is one of the countries where the women are the most travel for work. Like, there's so many Filipinas that go to other countries to work. Don't get me wrong, the, the income is not really at that much in the Philippines, but my wife was an OFW herself, okay? And she wasn't one of those OFWs that people say, oh, OFWs go over to Japan and make money in the bars. Oh, well, you know, da, 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 da. Or the guy that's butt hurt, you know, bashing women in the Philippines is crazy. But you had it all the time. You know, my wife was a teacher in Thailand, and so many Filipinos do that. They go to other countries, and they do what they have to do, and then they send money back home to their families. But let me get right into this. So he said, all this happened within an hour. Set my back to the, set my app back to Canada. Crickets from the ladies. Then he switched back over to DR. I already met a nurse and businesswoman. She FaceTimes me daily. Guys, stop wasting time in the West. Western women are trying to make relationships complex. There's no point in these games for grown women. Direct communication only nothing less and it's true and it's not that it's just like i said in the beginning of the video when you have to pick it a litter a woman can be a two and can select and have a guy that's a chad or a tyrone that's what's happening because guys are starting to become desperate in the west it's really becoming the wild wild west it's not the regular west it's the wild wild west now where guys are competing and there's so many guys competing and i'm not saying these guys are bums there's guys that are high value that I actually have to compete for a two, right? So guys are starting to become done. And also what happens is Filipinas and also women from these countries, they help out the guys that may be incels, right? And what I mean by incels, you guys already know. And I want to talk about this because Jordan Peterson actually got laughed at because he dropped a tear and he was crying for guys that were incels. And I'm gonna play a little bit of that video now 
So recently, Jordan Peterson had an interview with Piers Morgan. This pseudo-intellectual hero to the incel community, incel being these weirdo loner men who are you know, despicable in many ways. Is that you? Are you the intellectual hero to these people? Sure. Why not? You know, um, people have been after me for a long time by because I've been speaking to disaffected young men. You know, what a terrible thing to do that is. I thought the marginalized were supposed to have a voice. It's making you emotional to talk about that. Well, God, you know. It's very difficult to understand how demoralized people are. And certainly, many young men are in that category. And you get these casual insults, these, these incels. What does it mean? It's like, well, these men, they're how to make themselves attractive to women who are very picky and good for them. Women, like, be picky. That's, that's your gift, man. Demand high standards from your men. Fair enough. But all these men who are alienated, it's like, they're lonesome and, and, and they don't know what to do. But guys, it's horrible because certain guys are looked at like crap. And then I also had a guy who recently contacted me in a video and he, he, he seems like an incel. And he's like, man, every day, you know, I don't know how I'm gonna keep up with it. Like he's struggling with uh, paying his bills and it's really hard on guys. And you have a lot of people, there were women in the media laughing at Jordan Peterson for caring about these guys. This upper lip is really damaging. Yes. What are we telling boys? And then when you look at rates, it's become mm. an epidemic. This is, this is dangerous discourse, really, I would say. All it does is just highlight the hypocrisy that exists within our society. You know what's great, though? Filipinas heal these guys every year. There's so many guys that come here that have uh, a mental disease who come here and get healed because a lot of times all these guys really need is love. And got, you know, a woman is saying, oh, these guys have to go over there because they can't crack it here. You know what? So what if some of those guys are coming here? I see them all the time here. I see guys coming here that are that can't get women in the West. I see guys coming here that get all the women in the West. Everybody's coming. So how about that one, right? Yeah, the losers are coming. The winners are coming. Everyone's coming because guys are getting healed. Guys are getting healed from from uh, divorces, you know, there's guys that make millions of dollars that the wife's divorced them, you know, and, and took half his money. So of course he's gonna come here looking for love. You know, I just talked about yesterday, a, a Philip, this, this guy did a test on the Filipina for seven years and seen she was a gold digger. So, yeah guys, that's it. So that's all I want to say. In matter too, right? That's it, peace out. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you like my content, you're welcome to support my, my content by giving a small donation by PayPal. You can go to my Buy Me A Coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash JTBF. And there you can buy me a coffee or you can book a consultation with me. I have consultations for a very small fee. Also, I have consultations for working at home. So if you're a guy that's a little younger, not quite retired yet, and you want to work from home while in the Philippines, you can go to my Buy Me A Coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash JTBF. And also I have a packages for working at home. So you'll see them there. You can book it there.
You can get a shirt that represents your journey to the Philippines at foxtonomy.creator-spring.com. Once again, that's foxtonomy.creator-spring.com and get a shirt that represents your journey to the Philippines today. There's a new feature to YouTube. It's thanks. Now at the bottom of this video, you see thanks there. You can give a thanks and make sure your comment is highlighted and you can give a small donation that way as well. Guys, in the description, you see other videos of my other content that's great as well. So you can be sure to watch my other content there. Thank you for watching. See you next video.